What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we got something new. The Teal Mask DLC has just released, meaning we can now use brand new Pokemon and returning Pokemon only on the casual ladder for right now. So in today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Politoed and Ludicolo Rain team, considering these two Pokemon are definitely going to be heavy used in the meta, because Rain is just such a prominent weather usage. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Bruno. Huge shout out to you, my guy. Making this team day one of the Teal Mask DLC dropping. Definitely takes a lot of time. So if you guys want to check out his channel, do yourselves a favor and do that. There will be a link down in the description below to Bruno's channel. And also, if you guys want the Pokepace, head over to his channel. Again, huge shout out. He took the time out of his day to actually make this team. And I'm super excited to actually use it. Like I said, Ludicolo, Politoed, Rain combo. Cannot get much better than that. But our first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Tornadus. Tornadus is rocking the Prankster with the Cobra Cloak as item with Bleak Wind Storm, Tailwind, Rain Dance to pair up with a Rain Pokemon, and then Sunny Day to pair up with Chiyu and Fluttermane. And our second slot is going to be Golden Go, which is a great Pokemon, especially paired up with Tornadus. Tornadus can set off that Tailwind, Golden Go can do some big time damage with Make It Rain. Golden Go as good as gold, with the leftovers as item, and his other three moves consist of Shadow Ball, Nasty Plot, and Protect. In our third slot, we got the brand new returning Pokemon, Ludicolo, the Water and Grass type. It's got Swift Swim to double its speed in the rain, the Assault Vest to make it a bit more bulkier on that special defense side, then a great move set of Fake Out. Hydro Pump, Giga Drain, and Icy Wind for some speed control. In our fourth slot, we got Politoed, a new rain setter coming into Scarlet and Violet, and I'm telling you guys, this Pokemon is going to be all over the meta. It's got Drizzle with a Citrus Berry, Protect, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, and Helping Hand. In our fifth slot, we got Chiyu with Beads of Ruin and the Choice Specs as its item. Heat Wave, Snarl, Dark Pulse, and Overheat actually just recently used a Choice Specs Chiyu team, so you guys already know the power of that Pokemon. In our final slot, we got Fluttermane, a perfect Pokemon to pair up with Chiyu with Protosynthesis and the Life Orb as its item. Rocking Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, Moonblast, and Protect. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder, look to showcase Ludicolo and Politoed in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and we're going up against a Sylveon team. We just used Sylveon yesterday, so it's pretty cool to be seeing it here in match number one. They also have Cresselia, they got Landorus, and they're also rocking out with Heatran, Iron Hands, and Amoongus. And I just think we should get straight after it. Politoed, Ludicolo, new Pokemon, gotta use them up. We definitely gotta use them up. So I'm gonna lead them both. I'm also gonna bring Fluttermane in the back end, and I wanna check out Fluttermane's stats real quick. Bulky, got some speed, got some nice special attack. I'm all about it. With a life orb, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to go into them. And then final spot, do I go Golden Go here? Because Golden Go is not going to be too bad, especially within Trick Room. Can't be put to sleep by Amoongus. I really like it all of them. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But if you guys have regulation E teams for me with the new or returning Pokemon, make sure you guys either leave them in the comment section down below or do me one better. Head to the link down in the description below to my Twitter page and get them to me over Twitter. I would love to get teams, especially to showcase on, on the YouTube channel. But hopefully we get things started off hot here, grab ourselves a win with Politoed and Ludicolo, because I do think they are going to be very prominent in the meta when it comes out in Regulation E, just because rain is just so good. It really is. So he's going to end up going into Iron Hands. Iron Hands is definitely a little scary here. Um, and I'm just going to go into a Hydro Pump here, and I have to fake out. I have to fake out Cress. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to fake out Crest, because they might just fake out my Ludicolo. I'm just going to fake out the Crest. I doubt Crest is Cobra Cloak. Most of the time, it is Mental Herb. So going into here should be pretty good for us. I am scared of the Iron Hands maybe just going for a straight charge this turn. But we'll see. But I think he might fake out my Ludicolo slot. Yep. Alright, cool. So we, our fake out comes out beforehand. We get off a Hydro Pump and we're gonna start chunking up some damage onto this Cresselia. So Crest is gonna flinch here, and from here, I'm honestly thinking I'm just going Helping Hand, Terra, Hydro Pump, and looking to KO Crest with the shot. Because what is what's the stats here? What is your what is your stats for special attack? 110 and you are 137. You're gonna hit a bit harder, but I don't know if you're gonna KO. 
I mean, with Helping Hand, yeah, I believe you can actually KO. So yeah, we're gonna go Helping Hand here. I'm gonna Terrastalize you. And the reason I want Terrastalize you is because I do believe Wild Charge can come out here. And I'm gonna go into Hydro Pump. Because if this all works out fine, we can get rid of the Crest, we can cancel out no Trick Room, and we can really get the Riot Room. And Terra is just, it's just a read on top of it, right? We're just trying to make a read with Terra. But I Terrastalize, I go into the lovely little Helping Hand. Polytoad's looking so spiffy. Looks like Cotton Candy. And Hydro Pump's gonna land, which is beautiful. Can this KO? It does. Beautiful play, Jeans. Beautiful play. Now show me the Wild Charge going into the Ludicolo slot. Show it to me. Make this easy for me. Oh, it went to the Polytoad slot, so I just wasted a Terra. I just wasted Terra. It's all good. We were able to KO that Crest. Almost made the perfect read. Yo, he looks so funny dancing with that, uh, with that electric Terra bulb on top of his head. It's just like jingling back and forth. So out comes Lando. Um, we're gonna be able to outspeed. Lando's probably gonna thrash slice, to be honest. And I think from here we just go Ice Beam. And then we just try to land another Hydro Pump into this, right? Yeah. Because if he does a Terrastalize land or his Ice Beam, he should probably KO. It's four times super effective. It's going to hit like an absolute truck onto that thing. But a hot start for us. We get rid of the Crest. We get no Trick Room allowed. We still have Golden going in the back end, which is okay. I kind of wish I brought Chiyu because Chiyu is still pretty solid. But bringing it in the rain is always a little bit of a problem. But still, I could have just rocked out with Dark Pulses and all that stuff. So out comes the Terra, it's definitely going to be Lando all day. And now we can just go into a ground move. So yeah, the Terra was just a bad call for us. He goes into the water Terra. Maybe we get a freeze on him. That'd be beautiful. That'd be beautiful. He goes into the water Terra. Hydro Pump's going to connect here. Shipping up some nice damage. I think it's rather bulky. He's got to be vested. And the Stopping Tantrum's probably going to KO him, right? Yeah. Stopping Tantrum KOs me. He gets a crit too. It was KO me regardless. And the terror type doing me dirty. Not gonna come ice beam. Gonna do like five and a half damage, but maybe we get a freeze. Probably not, right? We do get a freeze. <laughs> I love this game. He's gonna thaw out though next turn. I know my luck. Drain punch gonna come out here and it actually leaves us alive for another turn, which I adore. Which I really like. Really, really like. Because now I could go into you, but I'm gonna go into Flutter Me instead. I'm gonna go into Flutter Main. I'm gonna Helping Hand Dash and Gleam. Do we think Helping Hand Dash and Gleam can KO? Maybe. But I'd rather do that. I'd rather go Helping Hand Dash and Gleam rather than uh, Moonblast. So I just wanna start chunking up damage because I'm almost positive two Dash and Gleams should be able to pick up KOs on the both of these guys. So with, with him not going for Wild Charge, that actually helps me out tremendously. And I'm gonna hope that this thing doesn't thaw out this turn. That was a big time freeze. Good old Polytoad. Good old Polytoad with a freeze. Look at his face. Look at his cute little face. So he ends up withdrawing. That's totally fine. He's gonna go into it's a real question. Maybe, maybe he train? Sylveon comes out here. And I get off this helping hand. I have Golden Go to do with that. I do have Golden Go to do with that, which I love. That's what Gleam's gonna be cooking. Does it KO the Iron Hands? It does not. It simply does not. And he's gonna go into a Wild Dragon slot. So he's gonna leave my Flutter main. Gonna say alive, but I get one more turn with it. So if that thing has quick attack, oh, that could be ugly. If that thing has quick attack, quick attack's ugly to me. Quick attack's real ugly. So that thing's still frozen. I'm on five HP. You have quick attack. Ooh. That is rough, and I think I just want to go into hydro pump here. And then try to land a Moonblast, because I'm not too worried about Sylveon, I'm worried about Lando. That's the only Pokemon I'm worried about. I have Golden going in the back end, and I wish I had Terra still. I wish I had Terra. We're really hoping Sylveon's not rocking Quick Attack. Some do, some don't. I feel as most do. And I think we're going to see Quick Attack come out here. That really hurts. Because I want to go for Helping Hand as a Gleam, but if you're going for Quick Attack, which you don't, gives us some value here, we're able to get off some damage. So now it comes down to this. Wow, I should've just went Helping Hand Moonblast. He's frozen solid. Can you get off a turn, Polytoad? Are you a bit faster? You are. Massive. You get off a Hydro Pump and you almost KO. Oh my god, this is coming down to wire. 
This is coming down to the wire. So Palito and Ludicolo are getting off a lot of value in this one. And we have one Pokemon left. I could still win this one. Golden Go 191 HP. I'm scared of the ground. I think we do outspeed the uh I'm almost positive we outspeed the uh the Sylveon, right? This Palito should be like I think it's 90 speed and you're 105. So yeah, we outspeed the Sylveon all day. We just have to be able to eat up like a Stompy Tantrum or something. We go into a make it rain. It should be able to KO the uh, Lando at that HP. And he's frozen solid, so big time freeze from us, <laughs> All in all honesty. Freeze was awesome. Make it rain comes out here. And it's going to pick up the double KO, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Match number one with Politoed and Ludicolo. Put it in the W column. We grab ourselves a win. Hopping into our second match, we're going up against a awesome team right here. Diplin, the brand new Pokemon, alongside with Chandelure, who I really want to showcase. Conkledor, Politoed, and Polyrap, and Golem. Really cool team, but Weather Squad, definitely going to be our friend, right? Weather Squad is definitely going to be our friend here. We got Ludicolo, who will be super effective, onto the Golem, onto the Chandelure, onto the Politoed, onto the Polyrath, and then we got Politoed here for nice little helping hands, and plus going to be super effective onto a few others, so... Weather Squad is going to come in here for us again, and I'm just going to go Fluttermane, and I'm going to go in with Chiyu. Chiyu in the rain, like I said, don't really like it too much, but still, with Dark Pulse and the choice specs, you really can't go wrong. But it can do some crazy big-time damage, really just start one shot in Pokemon. But really cool to see that we're going up against some brand-new Pokemon. I love it. I absolutely love it. I adore it. But I cannot wait to just start using a bunch of new Pokemon for you guys. I figured I'd get, I'd get Regulation E started off with a Rain team. One, because I had a few different teams I want to try out, but Rain, I just feel like it's going to be very strong. But Diplin's going to come out here, and Chandelure is going to come out here. We get out our rain buddies. And I feel as this one's pretty simple. Yo, Chandelure looks insanely cool. It looks awesome. But I feel as here, what are you? Are you Dragon and Ice? I believe you are Dragon and Ice. Or not Dragon and Ice. Are you Dragon and Grass? Or do you change typings? Let me see what you got cooking. Okay, yeah, you're still you're still Grass and Dragon. A little Candy Apple. So I just feel as I go there. And I just Hydro Pump. Let's go for two super effective shots here. Hydro Pump's going to be cooking. Chandelure, see you later. You're a goner. And this match is going to be easy. This one's going to be cake. This one's going to be cake because this Ice Beam KO and folks show, right? For sure, you're gone. Get him on out of here. For sure, this one's going to be cake. It's going to be sweeter than a candy apple. No pun intended. Pun, in pun was intended. But the boys are just thriving here. Match number two is going to be cake. Polito comes out here. Ludicolo thrives up against these guys. And Conkledor. Conkledor, I think it's going to be a very solid Pokemon in the competitive scene, too. It's got Mach Punch. It has a lot of different good moves. I like it all around. But from here, you know what? I'm just going to Helping Hand, and I am just going to Giga Drain. I'm only going to really worry about the Polito because we do have Fluttermane in the back, which is nice. So I'll go for that 1.3 times multiplier on this damage. I'll go for a nice little Giga Drain, and I will leave you on one. You not sashed? No, you're just getting lucky. Viper voice is flying, and yeah, this is just. This is just light work. This is just insanely light work. So I'll go Ice Beam here, make sure I finish you off, and I'm gonna try to land a Hydro Pump to finish off Conqueror. Battle was canceled, yo. Match number two, way too easy. Let's go hop into a third, look for that perfect record. Final match coming at you guys, and every now and then on the casual ladder, you get some easy easy wins especially with people not using pokemon that are ev train all that good stuff it happens that was like the last match but we're hopping into our third and final match we're going up against a hisuian braviary team with ursa it's not ursa luna ursa ring <laughs> and then mimikyu amoongus cloud sire and cycles Rain squad's not too bad here i gotta watch out for water absorb potentially on the cloud sire but I feel as, do I want to use something different? Not really. Not really. I'm here to showcase these guys right here. So I'm going to lead both of them. I'm going to go Fluttermane to you. So we're just going to bring in the same squad from last time. Just seems pretty simple. Seems like we can get after it. We're already 2-0. I would love to be 3-0, especially with showcasing these guys. But uh, let me know in the comment section down below other Pokemon you guys want me to showcase on the rank ladder or the casual ladder for now. I feel I have an Infernate team coming for you guys. I want to get uh, the new Pokemon, the new Duraludon for them. All that stuff. The other starters, like for not for Alligator, like Empoleon and Terra that are in the Teal Mask. I just feel like there's a lot of difficult Pokemon that we're going to showcase. I just need to get my hands on teams. So, again, if you guys have teams, help a brother out. Or if you guys are interested in making teams, DM me over on Twitter. All that good stuff. Love, love to see it. But let's see who they end up leading. It's going to be Amoongus and Cyclozar. Uh, Cyclozar could shit tail. Uh, 
I'm like Terra Politoed here. I'm just going to an Ice Beam. Just trying to chuck up some damage onto the move. He doesn't hit that hard, but Ice Beam. It's still going to be pretty solid for us. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to fake out the second spot. Well. Cool. Cool. I don't mind this turn. I don't mind this turn. So, Amugus rather bulky. If this thing's all EV trained normally, how it is in ranked battles, we're probably going to do maybe half. Maybe a little less than half. And Amugus just protects. That's, that's a great call. Solid call. But it's kind of just like a free neutral turn here because I'm just going to figure out the cycles are. We'll kind of go from there. We get the fake out. Ice Beam's gonna get blocked, and we get a little bit of free damage this turn. Yo, Palito looks so sick. I love it. I love it. But I'm just gonna keep going with an Ice Beam into that slot and swap Ludicolo, maybe. I feel as like they're potentially just going to swap Cycles R, so I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go Hydro Pump in the slot. End up withdrawing a Lugus. Oh lord. I thought they were gonna swap at the Cycles R slot. And maybe he's gonna come out here, so that's fine. We get a free disguise take off here. And Hydro Pump's gonna come across here, and it's gonna do some damage. See, not bad damage. In the rain, it's stab. It's awesome. And he can't even use Shed Town, I don't think. Yep, you do not have enough HP, so that was actually huge. That was huge. So now Ice Beam flies out here. We get rid of the disguise. Love it. And now I can just go straight Ice Beam into Cycles R, and on top of that, Hydro Pump down the Mimikyu. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Really like it. Really, really like it. The opponent's got to think. I feel like they're in a really tough position here. Why is your pump's going to get cooking here? Probably KO you, right? See you later, Mimikyu. All day, yo. I'm telling you, rain squad. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. Overheat's going to come out here in the rain. What was that? I mean, we are ice type. But Ice Beam's going to come cooking here. Let's say bye-bye, Cyclops. -bye, they do end up missing the overheat, which kind of sucks. We'll get thriving. Man. We are thriving. We will get thriving. Good old Ludico. I love how he does that little dance, yo. He's so funny. <laughs> He's so funny. His hands look like uh, shovels for the beach, don't they? Look at them. They're legit shovels for the beach. But Ursaring comes out here alongside with Amugus comes back out here. Uh, they still have Terra if they want to use it. And I'm just going to throw an Ice Beam in the slot. And Smash seems pretty simple for us. Just a Hydra Pump into the Ursaring slot. And Rage Powder. So they're looking to pick up a KO on me. Ursaring, look at that thing. He's ready to get after it. Hydro Pump is going to miss. I'm Grass type, so I get to dodge Rage Powder. And this thing's, yo, this thing's going for Belly Drum. We gotta watch out. Chill. Chill, yo. Belly Drum on you. And the Citrus Spray, yo. Chill. <laughs> chill. This thing's scaring me. Let's see how much damage this Ice Beam does. It's coming in hot here. How much damage we're doing? Like I said, probably about half, yeah. Almost exactly have, and the freezes are thriving for us today. Polytone coming to play, massive. So I'm here. I'm just gonna go for another ice beam because I do believe a hydro pump can KO the Ursa Ursaring. And that's another thing that's so big about Ludicolo is it's part grass type, so it dodges spores, it dodges rage powders. It's massive. That's a massive double for him. But thank God we sport or we froze this thing. I'm tired of dealing with that. And we're gonna see a Terra come out, probably from Ursaring, right? Ursaring, what type you got? I think it's scary, man. What you got cooking? Got a nice little ghost typing. Okay, it doesn't really do much, right? It doesn't, it doesn't do too much here. Mugus is frozen solid. He's just looking to go for rage powder. Wouldn't have done anything anyway. And Hydro Pump is just on a bad string right here. Oh, for the pass, too. Terra Blast coming in here, and whoever's hitting this is dead, right? Gonna have Polytoad? Yep, plus six. We're not surviving that. You simply are not surviving that. Can I land these hydro pumps? Like, I've been trying, man. And the rain's gone now. I went the rain. And now's a good time to actually bring out you. A bit of Chiyu action. Little bit of Chiyu action. So from here, I'm gonna rip with a Dark Pulse. No, Dark Pulse. I'm gonna go in this slot and... Let's just go for an Ice Wind. Just trying to slow down everybody. Just need one icy one. Just gotta make sure my. Oh, you're still frozen solid. The freezes have been doing my pose dirty day. The Dark Pulse, this is just pretty much gonna wrap up the match. Gonna KO the Earth Ring. And yeah, that's GG's. That's GG's. Now, now you have no shot. But that, that Belly Drum Earth Ring really, really got me scared. Definitely got me scared. 
Icy Wind's gonna fly here, do about negative five damage. Actually did a good amount, actually. Actually did a great amount. And then from here we just get Dark Pulse, Icy Wind again. And that's gonna be game. Battle's canceled. There it is, 3-0, Ludicolo, and Polly to thriving out in today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Nice, lovely 3-0 perfect record on the casual ladder. Feels good to be using some new Pokemon, not the same old stuff that we've been using in Regulation D. But make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date on all of my content, considering within this next week, we're going to be pumping out some content with some brand new Pokemon. Also, guys, if you have some Regulation E teams, get them to me in the comment section down below. I would love to use them for some YouTube videos. But seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.